Welcome to the homework for Lesson 21, Grade 2, Module 3. Write your name first. Don't leave it to later because you won't remember it. It says find the pattern and fill in the blanks. These can be tricky uh, if you've, pra you've practiced them a little bit before, but really want to <laughs> look for two things. First question you want to ask yourself is, are the numbers getting larger or are they getting smaller? Because you can count forwards, you can count backwards too. And then by how much? Is it plus 10? Is it plus 100? Is it plus 1? It could be plus 5. I mean, who knows? Or it could be minus 10. It could be minus 100. It could be getting smaller by 1s or smaller by 5s. So we're gonna, that's what we're going to look at with the, these few here. We're going to have the first two numbers to look at, and that's how we're going to figure out what direction this is going in and how fast it's going there. 396, 397. So these are getting larger by ones, because those are one apart, and it's getting larger. So we have 398, 399, 400, and 401. 251, 351. So this is getting larger, and it's getting larger, you can see, only by hundreds, right? The, the tens and the ones digits are staying the same, so it's going to be 451, 551, 651, 751. 476, 486. It's getting larger, and it's only the tens digit that's changing here. So <clears throat> it's going to be getting 10. We're adding 10 every time. So 476, 486, 496, 506, 516, 526. Now we have 630, 620. This is getting smaller by tens. 610, 600, 590, 580. And we have 208, 209. So this is going up by ones. It's the ones digit that's changing. So we have 210. 211, 212, and there's our 213. So let's see it here. We're starting at 316, but then we get all the way up to 616, and then what comes next is, so it looks like between these two right here, you can see it's going up by hundreds. So 416, 516, and there's the 616, 716, 816. And now we're, it looks like we're starting in the 500s and ending with 7 ones. And here we have 500s and 7 ones and 500s and 7 ones. So the tens digit is changing, but it looks like it's changing. It's getting smaller. So we're subtracting tens. That's how you figure these out. 537, 527, 517, 507, 400. 97, 672, and here's 609. Now, it's only the tens digit that's changing, right? Because we have sixes and twos for our hundreds and our ones. And it looks like they're getting larger because it went from seven to nine. So it's 682 in the middle. 692, now it's going to go up to 702. And then 700. Oops. 712. And one of my favorites, the broken number grid puzzle. Remember about these is that they go this way, they go up by one. And this way, they go straight down is plus 10 and that's how you figure out everything so if it goes if this way is plus one then that way 
is minus 1. And if down is plus 10, then up is minus 10. Sometimes you have to go backwards to figure some of these out, too. Uh, so 206, 207, 208, 209, 210. And you can check these, but you can see that this goes plus 10. There'd be 210, 220, 230. So that's right. 208, 218. We can just go straight down here, adding 10s. So 207, 207. That looks like a Z. Let me just fix that if I can. 217, 227, and there's 237. 208, 218, 228. 238, 209, 200, that looks like a, okay, 219, 229, and then here we just have these two left. We could count backwards to get them, or we could go down from the 206, that would be 216, this would be 226. If that's 226, this has to be 225, because it's one less going that, in that direction. And there's your homework for Module 3.